President Mamadou Buhari has postponed this week's Federal Executive Council meeting to honor the late Chief Army Staff General Ibrahim Atayru and other officers who died last week Friday in a plane crash. Similarly, President Buhari has also postponed the Police Council meeting scheduled to hold on Thursday, May 27th to next week, Thursday, June 3rd, 2021. The postponements were made public by a statement issued by the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa. The Enugu State Police Command has confirmed the killing of four officers and the burning of its divisional police headquarters in Iwolu, Eziagu local government area of the state. In a statement, the State Police Public Relations Officer Daniel Undukwe said the hoodlums whose identities were yet to be known had stormed the station in their numbers and set the police division ablaze, leading to the death of four police officers. He, however, assured residents of the state that measures are being put in place to ensure that the perpetrators are brought to book. People of Guaraka community in Tafa local government area of Niger state have been protesting the incessant harassment and kidnapping by unknown gunmen. The protesters blocked major highway leading to other parts of the country. They are however calling on the federal government and security agencies to come to their aid. The House of Reps and Senate Joint Committee on Public Hearing on the 1999 Constitution were in Edo State to fill the pulse of the people as regards proposed constitution amendment. Blessing Raji has the details. The summit put together by the National Assembly is expected to visit some designated states in the various zones to kickstart the proposed amendment to the 1999 Constitution. Deputy Governor of Edo State, Philip Shoibu, who stood in for the state governor, drew attention to the need for state to control their resources as stipulated in the 1963 revenue sharing formula and not what presently obtainable in the country where the center control and decides what to be given to the state. If you lump unicamera and the issue of tenors together and you are asking me to choose all of them, it may be a problem. So the National Assembly should separate the issues as they come and present it to the House of Assembly clause by clause, issue by issue, not to lump them up so that we do not have another problem that we had in the last time. Mr. Governor has always preached for the citizens to take ownership of government because government belongs to them and it's because of them that there is government. Government is now returning back to the area where you pay your taxes and take charge and be ready question authority to the extent that they spend those money that you pay as tax. The era of sitting down and waiting for Abuja revenue is gradually over. And when this constitution is amended to reflect our views, then the issue of Nigeria will no longer be in question. Instead, the unity of the country will be celebrated. While appreciating the National and State yes. Assembly for implementing series of reviews on the Constitution, Speaker Edo State House of Assembly, Marcos Onobon, lists areas that requires total reforms to include gender equality, former devolution, judicial and electoral reforms, state and local government reforms. He, however, expressed the hope that all stakeholders will in contribution and come up with the required resolutions. Due to the authority of 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 Therefore, some portions of the Constitution and also argue that the phrase we the people is a normal that we 
After the exercise, the national and state assemblies will come up with a communique that will put together after the tour of the zones. Blessing, Raji, VOS TV News. The Acting Vice Chancellor, Professor Bensing Osadolo, has directed all members of staff and students of Ambrusali University to immediately resume academic activities. In a swift reaction, the chairman of ASU in the institution, Dr. Igbafe, urged members and students to ignore the directives and stay at home until the lecturer's outstanding salaries are paid. He, however, advised the acting VC to make moves to settle the crisis in the institution before opening the school. That's the size of our bulletin. You have been watching the news on VOS TV. Kindly follow us across social media at VOS TV on Instagram and Twitter. And do also subscribe to our channel on YouTube at VOS TV News. My name is Osasoge Aidei. Thanks for watching.